Hey guys, I'm back. I promised myself and other people that I'm going to expose the Premier League better than anyone this year. So I'm a man of my word and uh, I'm about to do it right now. So we just said Arsenal winning 2 0. Okay, that 2 0, the 20 I talk about so often, and the opening goal of the game was scored after 20 minutes by Maldinelli. I've just done a video about why he opened the scoring and why he did it after 20 minutes. Number 11. Um, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to truly do all I can to expose this league. I gave so much of my life and my energy and my soul and my money to the Premier League. I I'm going to I'm going to expose it. All right, I'm going to go all out to expose it. So Arsenal, the code did hit. They had a phenomenal code. The only thing that put me off Arsenal was the opening game of the season. I told you that Arsenal's code was so good, and I'll go through it. Um, but the two 0 the 2-0, man, after opening the score after 20 minutes was off the chart. So I don't know where to start with this code. I could start with the 74s that I posted on my website. Um, I could start with the 85s. I could start with the coronavirus riddle. There's so much, guys. I am working overtime. So before I truly get into the code, I want to say a big shout-out to a guy called Gary. I don't know who Gary is. But he left an amazing comment on my Twitter, which is going to blow your mind, guys. So the second goal of the game was an own goal. And it was scored by Mark Israel Gui, all right, an English professional footballer. All right? Middle name, Israel. And he scored this own goal. By the way... This player, this is my code here, was born on the 13th of July, which is 137. 137 is the 33rd prime. He scored this own goal a span of three weeks and three days after his birthday. England gets you 33. Obviously, London's the capital of England, where this game took place, a London derby. EPL gets you 33. Masonry 33. It was the Freemasons who founded the Football Association. Hey, Mazza, I'm doing really well, but I'm going to be in the zone here. I'm going, to, I'm going to be in the zone. So this second goal of the game, which killed off the game, was an own goal by a player whose middle name is Israel. And he scores this own goal, guys, against Arsenal, a.k.a. the Gunners. I've told you Arsenal, the Gunners are connected to war. And he does this as Israel and Palestine send rockets to each other. All right. Wow. Just eight plus five. The own goal was after 85 minutes. Eight plus five is 13. This guy was born on the 13th day of July. 13 Illuminati bloodlines. It should be 13 months in the calendar. 13 zodiac signs, not 12. And I did a post earlier in the year, well, very recently, about the Liverpool Man City game and all the 85s. 13, Mo Salah has been directly involved in 13 goals for Liverpool against Man City. Eight goals, five assists, 85. Trent opened the goal scoring in that community shield, guys. Trent was born on a day leaving 85 days left in the year. Just a joke. Number 66 opened the score in Trent in that game. Number 19 equalized 66 plus 19, 85. Premier League season began on 8-5, exactly 33 weeks after the Pope turned 85. And then the second goal is after 85 minutes. This own goal after 85 minutes. Just, just wild, man. It, it's, it's wild how biblical all of this is and how it all syncs up. So, so I start with some more 85s. Arteta, Mikel Arteta, the first Premier League coach to get coronavirus, guys. What they tell us. All right. When was he born? He was born in 26-3, which is the 56th prime. 
like Arsenal FC, okay, like coronavirus, like COVID vaccine, like Society of Jesus. Well, isn't it interesting today in this opening game where Arsenal won, they did have the code to win it. They did have the code. And while there's 13 in life, four likes, Kobe retired 13 4. The opening game was on 8 5. The last goal of this game that was on 8 5 was a known goal after 85 minutes. And Mikel Arteta was born on the 85th day of the year. All right, yeah, Bayern won 6 1, 61, the 18th prime. IHS gets you 18 in two ciphers. I'm telling you, Back in on Bayern to lose is like putting money on Boris Johnson to tell the truth. When it comes to monster riddles to beat teams like Bayern, it's literally one out of 10 where it happens. You've got to avoid those games, even with the riddle, but you can learn a lot through the code. But Bayern Munich guys, the, the Bavarians, the Illuminati were founded in Bavaria. Okay? It's one of the reasons why Bayern have dominated so much. Watching pro football is a waste of time when you think about it. Might stop watching it this year. A lot of people, due to my work, I've given up on watching it. I don't watch any games. I don't get consumed by the drama of it. Did you see my Martinelli decode? If you go back, if you consistently watch my work, I talk about 186 all the time because coronavirus was declared a global pandemic exactly 18 years and six months after 9-11. The opening goal of the Premier League season was scored by Gabriel Martinelli, connected to the Archangel Gabriel. That's why they have Gabriel Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel the centre-half. All right? And Gabriel Martinelli, for your 186, was born on the 18th of June, 186. The speed of light, guys, 186,000 miles per second. All right? The 186s. The World Cup final is going to be one day after the Pope's 86th birthday. One, eight, six. Hey, Greza, how you doing, bro? My stupid name on here is 85 and I didn't choose it. I won't let me change it. I'm not, 85 is not necessarily a bad number. It's not necessarily a bad number. So on my, on my website, this game was tough. I told you it was a tough game. I said Arsenal had the better code. But I wanted to just watch it play out. People in my community took Arsenal. Um, Lockwood, Thomas Lockwood took Arsenal. Um, Lions 800 said crazy good decode. And asking if he can pay extra for NASCAR decodes. I don't bet, but would love to put a few books on NASCAR. Yeah, I can look into that for you. Um yeah, I've got to respond to all of these comments. Chuck did a phenomenal code for Arsenal to win. Um, but yeah, yeah, Thomas Lockwood had Arsenal for a couple of doubles and, and it came in. But they had to have it 1-0 right to the end to keep you like, oh, it only needs one, one opportunity for Palace and it's one all out and watch the game. I'm sure there were probably some near misses that... So, again, when I post stuff like this, it's, it's up to you what you do with it. Recently, I did the Arsenal 49 undefeated run decode. I thought that was exceptional. And I think they'll have a good season this season. Last season, Arsenal lost the first three opening games. They usually start slow. Well, they have in recent years. So, where did I put it for? Oh, here. These 74s. So, ex-Arsenal captain and current Crystal Palace coach, Patrick Vieira, he was hired to be Crystal Palace's coach on 7-4-2021. Exactly a year after Gabriel Jesus signs for Arsenal on 7-4-2022. And then you had Arsenal, who've just signed a player called Marquinhos. He was born on the 7th of April, which can be written 7-4. There's something going on with Arsenal and Brazil. What happened today is an exceptional um, decode for Brazil to win the World Cup. I still prefer Argentina, but my word, what's going on with Arsenal and how it all connects up to the World Cup and all the Brazilians that they have? 
is, is, is pretty wild. I've told you Brazil's one of the team you have to place a little bet on. Today, Mikel Arteta got his 74th career win. In Gematria, Mikel Arteta gets you 74. All right? Mikel Arteta gets you 115-43-74. Sonic gets you 115-43-74. Who founded the Football Association? The Freemasons. Where were the Freemasons founded? London. Who was playing today? Arsenal and Palace. London Derby. Okay? It's an absolute joke. And the 74s on Gabriel Jesus' debut. All the 74s that happened. Jesus signs on 7-4. Arteta gets his 74th win in Jesus' first competitive start for Arsenal. Jesus is 74 in Gematria. So is Jesus Christ. Independence Day is celebrated on 7-4. And in regards to the Vieira and Arteta connection, 23 in the live, 8 likes, Kobe Bryant's birthday. In regards to the Arteta and Vieira connection, both of them played for Arsenal and Man City. Arteta coached Jesus at Man City because he was the assistant of Guardiola. Guys, it all sinks. It all sinks. So, yeah, people did get on Arsenal good for them. But I ain't ever going to do this anymore where I'll say, get on this team, they're definitely going to hit. All I'm going to do is put out a code and say the code's great, but it could be a trap. It's up to you what you do with it. Because the code was so perfect for Arsenal. And sometimes these perfect codes, you've got to avoid them at times. But again, I don't, I don't bet. But our tether old Lego head is a, is a massive deceiver. Um, I've told you all the Arsenal and Everton connections with the Invincibles. Well... Didn't Arteta play at Everton where he was like a star? I remember Arteta and Tim Cahill were like unbelievable together. And then Arteta signs for Arsenal as a player and then goes on to coach them. Hey, eh? Adam, please decode the names of the Messiah. So many names. Okay. Not doing any more work today. I've worked myself to the bone. I had a nice swim. Probably got out today, this evening. Um, First Brazilian to score the first goal of the season. Was it Greza? Wow, guys. See, Greza, much love to Greza. Um, really close friend of mine. One of the main reasons I want to get to England. And you can't dismiss the fact that Christ the Redeemer, the colossal statue of Jesus Christ, is in the summit of Mount Corbacar. What is it? Corcovado or something? Corcovado in Rio de Janeiro, guys. Christ the Redeemer, the statues in Brazil. All right? You have to place a little bit of money if you still bet on Brazil. Will it be their sixth World Cup as well? I still prefer Argentina at this point. But like I said, what is it right now? August? The World Cup's not till November. Argentina's just above Brazil. Then there's England. It may swing with me. Again, I ain't covering myself. I'm just telling you. When it gets to the first day of the tournament, I'll tell you who I really, really like. But the stuff that's going on with Brazil, and then all the 9-11 riddles, guys. Martinelli, born in 2001, the year of 9-11. And then you have Jesus, Gabriel wearing number nine, and Martinelli wearing number 11, 9-11. So they had to do all the posts of images of the 9-11 in the changing room. Man United top four. Uh, with this type of knowledge, bro, it's very hard to say who's going to be top four with this knowledge. Um, you can't dismiss just Man City, Liverpool. I think Man City win the league. And then it, it's your usual, isn't it? It's anyone between Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs. And there's usually one shock. There's usually one team that will do really well that nobody expects. That compete like a Leicester, for example. Um Will Man United finish top four? I'll be shocked if they embarrass Ten Hag. I'll be shocked if they embarrass Ten Hag, is what I'm going to say. Arteta got his 74th win today. His 74th. His name's 74. Jesus signed for Arsenal on 7-4. Um, and Jesus made his competitive debut today. 33 days after he signed. Jesus died at 33. 
okay? Gabriel Jesus was born on April the 3rd, which is the date we're told Jesus died. Gabriel Jesus got coronavirus on the date we're told is Jesus' birthday, Christmas Day, which I think is a joke. I don't feel that in my soul. Um, MCS plays. You're asking me, does that mean I can't become a pro footballer as a Christian? I don't know if, if it's about that. I, I don't think you'll make it as a footballer. If you're a normal person, then you ain't getting it at a high level. I don't want to break your heart, but maybe you can prove me wrong. You calm in me because the names debate so many different names. They say Yeshua, Yeshua. Yeah, I know. There's, there's so many different names. Um, I, I won't get wrapped up too much on the name. You just have to believe in your heart that, that God wins and he sacrifices only son for our sins. Wow. Put that in a poem. Why won't that in my poem? All you need to know is that God wins and he sacrifices his only son for our sins. Oh, I need to write that down. No, my brain's pretty good at remembering things. Off topic, do you think the LA Dodgers will win it all this year? No. No, I don't. I've done a code on Vin Scully and it it is a wild code. But do I think the Dodgers are going to win? No. No, I don't. The statue was constructed on 4-4. Are you serious? And the Georgia Guidestones came down that were 19 foot and 3 inches, the 44th prime. Wow, I didn't know. I'll have to decode the statue and the measurements of it. I say the most heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, the supposedly so-called God and Lord and holy is pagan. The Scripture's own nine version has a lot of words like that set apart for holy. When it comes to things like that, you've got to use your own discernment and what feels right in your soul. Any idea who wins the Champions League this year? Yes, I have an incredible code that I've not shared yet. Doesn't mean that it's going to hit. But yeah, I have an idea. I have a favourite pick as of now. Need to look more into it. Exactly 10 Hag is not finishing below 6. I say 6 as a Manchester United viewer. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, it'll be so funny if he finishes 10th. 10 Hag. Um, it'll be hilarious if they finish 10th. People just say it's a coincidence. See this season being the most far-fetched season ever since the Prem started. I agree, and I'm going to reveal the deception. Hey, Margo MC, I'm going to reveal it as well as anybody. All right? I really am. And you know what's funny? Today is exactly 71 weeks. Exactly 71 weeks after Arteta's 2021 birthday. 71 weeks exact. All right, remember he was born on the 85th day of the year and today's 8-5. Well, his 2021 birth, he was exactly 71 weeks ago and coronavirus was declared on the 71st day of 2020 and 71's the 20th prime and they opened the scoring after 20 minutes and went 2-0. I guess I have to do a separate post about this. I'm just overwhelmed by how much information I can gather. Catholic gets you 71, no doubt that Arteta is a member of the Society of Jesus, just like Guardiola. That's why they work together at Man City. These deceivers, guys, that people worship, they, they really do. And uh, that's why I'm going to do all I can to stop people watching these games. Um, and I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Just this guy who gets the own goal, middle name Israel, and everything that I was just saying there about how Israel and Palestine send rockets to each other, the gunners. Declaration of war, 15 dead in Israeli strikes whilst this mark israel goey strikes a killer blow for palace with an own goal on goal gets you 33 by the way of course it does i don't know guys how many more stuff do i have to do at this point like i'm literally working myself to the bone but hey i'll keep doing it i'll keep doing it So, yeah, am I going to class this uh, as, as, a, as a win for me with Arsenal and put it on my stats? No. Did I put the 74s and then say, do whatever you want with them? Yes. Did I say in the live Arsenal have an incredible code? Yes, but for me personally, I just wanted to see this game play out and decode it. Thankfully, people got on Arsenal because of the code, but I ain't adding this to my stats. Keep myself on 71%. Wow, my stats are 71%. Exactly 71 weeks after our tethers. 
2021 birthday and 71's the 20th prime in the opening game of the Premier League season finishes 2-0 with an opening goal after 20 minutes. Arsenal have three players with the name Gabriel. It's all connected to the Archangel Gabriel. Every time I say Gabriel, I have to say thank you to Gabriel who uh, set up my website. The Archangel Gabriel. Funny how all popular FBL content creators know which players to pick something off about these frauds. Look at the Masonic symbolism that they put up. Look at the satanic symbolism that these guys put up. I used to watch those videos and I used to think I could do that because I was very good at FPL and uh, I have so much knowledge of the Premier League. I could have done that and I have charisma. But yeah, these guys, that big fat guy, what, what's his name? Um, yeah, year after year, they always do great. Makes you think, doesn't it? Like when it comes to the FPL, it's not just about studying. All right. It's it's not just about studying the statistics. There's more to it. And yeah, these FPL content creators getting hundreds of thousands of views. Whereas I'm getting like a few thousand. Hmm. So I mean, I don't really want to talk about like. Who do you think is going to get golden boot? Who do you reckon? Who do you reckon top for his heart? I don't want to be in those conversations anymore. Because frankly, I don't care who makes the Champions League. All the Premier League, all the teams that are in it, they're on the same team. They're on the same team. All right? When it comes to the finances and money and all of that, it's all a show. You've got to have the top teams and the middle teams. You need all of that. Just like in movies, you need the superstars. Then you need the guys in the middle. Then you need the extras for the movie to function. Not everyone can be a superstar. Ten Hag is on nine trophies in nine seasons. Oh, my goodness. So you think it's going to be 10 out of 10? As I have 10 likes, you think he's going to win one this year? Maybe. Maybe they will give him a trophy. Or cue ball head. Um, Ramsdale got his 23rd clean sheet. There you go. 23 is the ninth prime. And the service score went to 50-29 as predicted. Nice, yeah, 23 times 23 is 529. And JFK was born 529. He was connected to Super Bowl 56, where the Rams became 2-3 and three in Super Bowl, scoring 23 points. Well done, uh, Jacon, for, for getting on Arsenal. They did have a phenomenal code. Um, so I guess I'm happy that the code weirdly hit. I should really read out Chuck's code. It was so good, but I think the 74s were just enough. Turns out football is like WWE. All pro sports are WWE. How many times do I say WWE? Once they're in the ring, you got the good guy, the bad guy. Once they're backstage, they're hugging each other. Great job. We had the crowd exactly where we wanted them. And then tomorrow we'll do the same thing again. We'll pretend we don't like each other. And then we'll be friends and we'll be on the road together. We'll be driving together after we've just had a match deceiving the masses where people still believe that these wrestlers hate each other. Like, do you remember Ric Flair and Dusty Road? They supposedly hated each other. They were like super close friends. They were really close friends. But you would never have known by the way that they hated each other on stage on screen so in regards to Noah's Ark and Ron Wyatt I don't have an answer to that so yeah I, I won't be going too long I'm saying that you should check out all my posts get on my Twitter you don't have to go on my website if you can't afford ten dollars but go on my Twitter it's free uh, and you're gonna learn a lot Again, much love to Gary for the connection that he made with Mark Israel Gary. And I'm pretty sure that player wears number six. I'm pretty sure he wears number six. It says here, Jesus came off after 83 minutes. 83, the 23rd prime, the ninth prime, he wears number nine. And then after 83 minutes, number three and number 14 come on for Pi. 314, Tierney. And then Eddie, the striker. 314, Pi. The only two players that come on for Arsenal, the Pi. And who they come on for? Jesus and Zinchenko. The Ukrainian assisted the goal, didn't he? The Ukrainian assisted the goal. 
Wow. Wait, are you telling me Arsenal's centre halves are number 12 and number six? One, two, six. Wow. It's just these numbers, guys, they mean a lot. They mean a lot. They have great significance. Let me just check something before I go. I want to check Anthony Taylor. I think I'll see what's the ref. Why him? But he's 43, the big Masonic number. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus died on 4-3. Gabriel Jesus was born on 4-3. Masonic, 43. Lucifer, 43. So, of course, Anthony Taylor, who is the coach, not the coach, the referee for the opening game, is 43 years old. And uh, he's from Manchester. And obviously, Jesus just signed from Manchester City. Let's do a little span here. October the 20th. No, I need to keep that photo for the 71. October the 20th. Let's see the span from today's game to this bald fold birthday. Of course, guys. Two months and 16 days. Six times six times six gets you 216. This referee born with 72 days left in the year. Francis became the Pope the 72nd day of the year. 72 demons. Like, it's scandalous. And this guy was born on the 293rd day of the year, which is the 62nd prime. And Elizabeth was coronated on 6-2 in 1953, the 62nd triangular number. And this game involved Crystal Palace, connected to Buckingham Palace. Thanks, Adam. Love your decode. Was never going to miss. Thank you. Well, again, I'm, I don't think I can take... PMC Chirago, do you think I can take that? That Arsenal code, yes or no? 90% of the code was for Arsenal to win, just for the 74s. Can I take that on the stats? Because I didn't say I think Arsenal win. What, what was my exact code? It pretty much indicated I liked Arsenal. Where is it? Come on, where is it? I do, I do so many posts, guys. Yeah, this, this indicated that Arsenal were winning the code. It indicated Arsenal. 90% of the code. It was just one thing for a draw. Arteta could, could have stayed on 73 wins and get his 21st draw. 73 is the 21st prime, and those numbers go hand in hand. That was the big thing. That was the big thing I saw for a potential draw. And the fact that it was the opening game, the favourite hardly ever wins. All the other code was Arsenal. All the other code was Arsenal Football Club to win. Uh, there was loads of other stuff as well with Satan. The devil gets you 85. Obviously, this game was played on 8-5. And Palace stayed on six wins and 16 draws versus Arsenal. And 6-1-6 is the alternate number of the beast, guys. This is this is wild. Um, also, this game was 69 weeks after Prince Philip died. This code's Chucks. Okay? And the... Well, this part's mine. The referee today, his upcoming birth is in 10 weeks and 6 days. Prince Philip was born on 10-6. All right? So, there was a royal family connection here. We know the 69's big, like the Jesuit Order, the Mark of the Beast, Queen Elizabeth, all get you 69. Um... What else have we got? Yeah, Vieira got his 13th Premier League loss. It was loads of 41s today. Um, Art had his birthday four months and 10 days before the game. 41, the 13th prime. So, Palace got the 229th Premier League loss, the 50th prime. And Art had got his 50th Premier League win and Satanic gets you 50. So, much love, Chuck. You nailed it with Arsenal. I liked Arsenal. Thanks for leaving your comment that people took. I think, yeah, you did. You did post this code, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, wow. Was this Arteta's 131st game, the 32nd prime? I think it was, wasn't it? And the Society of Jesus' logo has 32 rays. Guys, I'm telling you, people like Arteta... 
are members of the Society of Jesus. Um, the code was clearly Arsenal. Well, Jay Connor, you're not on my website, are you? You're not on my website. In the live, if you go back and watch the live, I told you all that Arsenal had a phenomenal code that I was personally slightly put off. Me, this is why I'm not a guru. I was like, oh, if I had to bet, I'm not sure I would get involved because it's the opening game and a lot of money is going to be on Arsenal. But the code was all Arsenal and I posted a code on the website. This is, this is the issue is people who are not on my website don't know what I'm posting. They don't know what I'm posting. I have to read this code out to you. Not code, this comment which is beyond scandalous. Let me find it. This is what I have to deal with. Uh, it, it's pretty funny. Let me find it. Where do I go on my uh, lives? Okay. Videos. YouTube studio. And content. Live. I, I did a live decoding Tom Brady. Tom Brady decoded, okay? Tom Brady decoded. And this comment, where is it? YouTube do delete comments. They really do. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Listen to what I have to deal with, um, which is... Beyond hilarious. Chuck did post Arsenal. Much love to you, Chuck. Yeah, you got it up there. A few people are very happy. So cheers to you. I think this is a win, Chuck. We both said Arsenal, didn't we? But it it did sniff like it could be dangerous. You were your code for Arsenal was exceptional. And then the 74s were just special. I think the 74s indicate that Jesus is coming back. Again, the 74, that number is so connected to Jesus. Will Arsenal draw their opening game, maybe, to go on four points because seven's the fourth prime? Maybe. I don't know who they're playing. But um, listen, listen to this. Listen to this one. What these people said about me. Daniello Skolos. So I was wearing an American Eagle T-shirt which got bought for me over 10 years ago. All right. Like I haven't bought new clothes for ages. So there was an American Eagle. Somebody bought it for me because it was my initials, Adam Edwards. And then this is a comment I had to deal with. And it's it's kind of like I feel sorry for these people at this point. Um, so listen to this. A 33 and a pyramid on your T-shirt, laugh out loud. You are getting bolder with the symbolism mockery. This has six likes. And then somebody said, the compass too. Come on, illusion. You are a truther on YouTube, but you ain't wearing this. Every vid starts with the one-eyed symbolism blinking. As above, so below. So the, these people, I don't know who they think I am. That I'm this <laughs> genius Mason Illuminati member I was wearing a T-shirt, which I just threw on. It's like sometimes I sleep in it. Sometimes it's when I go to the pool. American Eagle, a shirt that got bought for me over 10 years ago. And the saying that I'm mocking you with symbolism. So, again, it, it's embarrassing. My work speaks for itself. Pretty much every major brand that you wear has symbolism on it now. Every one of them. And I ain't just going to buy a complete new wardrobe unless you're going to buy it for me. Chuck, you bet Arsenal, brilliant. Oh, you saw the post about the shirt? <laughs> uh, I can only say I didn't have to thank you very often when I subscribe to your Patreon. Who? You know what Patreon did to me. It deleted my account. Arteta does look really strange. It looks like a Lego head. Yeah, I was asking, should I count this on my win-loss record? I don't think I should. I'll stick at 71%. I could, but I don't think I should because it wasn't really clear. I like my picks to be really clear. 
I like to say I think Arsenal will win this. Um, and if I don't do that, I don't think I can take the pick. Even though all the numbers indicated Arsenal. So I'm not going to put it on my stats. Although many people say, well, you pretty much clearly lent Arsenal. But I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take the win for this one. Um, but whatever. I'll be just be happy for those like Thomas and Chuck who, who literally won financially from it. Good for them. I'm always happy when people win. So, yeah. Wow. Just know all these referees like Anthony Taylor are Freemasons. All right. You can't be reffing in the Premier League unless you're a Mason. Okay. It's interesting as well. Today is the 217th day of the year, which is uh, connected to Michael Jordan, who was born 217, the GOAT. Guys, this whole season is going to be massively satanic and... Will it be the last ever Premier League season? I, I don't know. I won't be shocked, is all I'm going to say. So enjoy it while you have it. Um, and if you're an Arsenal fan, congratulations. If you're a Palace fan, I'm sure you're going to finish mid-table like every other season. But whatever. Okay. So there we go. I don't think there's anything else to say. I've, I've, I've exposed why Arsenal won, why Gabriel Martinelli opened the scoring. All the numbers I always talk about are hitting every single day. All right? Every day, the numbers I bring up, they appear. All the time. Whether it's 42. Whether it's 33. Whether it's the 126, the 911, the all appearing. Today, the 74. Okay? All appearing, all connected, day in, day out, because Revelation's playing out and people are going to be in for a world of hurt soon if they don't acknowledge it, or at least the possibility of it. Hey, H6789, hope you well. Um, so, yeah. Another one bites the dust. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm going to post a Premier League code tonight, a team that I like. Put the code there where I will say I like this team to win. So it will be a, a very clear pick, unlike this one, which was leaning Arsenal but wasn't clear. It's kind of like I, I, I think so kind of code, which I'm not a fan of. Arsene Wenger will be proud. He will want it. He'll be delighted. What an amazing coach. You really think these coaches coach? You really think that's how it works? They're not coaching. They're not having an impact on who wins through their coaching. It's all about the code. All right. It's not about how well they can coach. That's why Fergie never coached. The greatest coach ever never coached. All right. He watched other people coach for him because he couldn't coach. So, yeah. Take care. I'm, I'm going to get off. Oh, no. Before I go, Klaus said something beautiful to me today about how a lot of people can't comprehend my knowledge and they're scared of it. And she basically like compared me to like a rare bird, a rare species of bird with all these colors. And, What's that? I've never seen that before. And most people like run away from it. And I see that as a huge compliment, what she said. She said very few people are going to understand where you're coming from. They're going to be afraid of the knowledge that you're sharing because they can't comprehend it. And she's right. She's right. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Solskjaer wasn't in charge of United. It don't matter, guys. They're, they're there for the numbers, for the Masonic ties and the numbers. They're not there because of their coaching ability. People who think just because they were decent players means they can be decent coaches. I've never played or coached before. I've done both. I've played and coached. And I know that just because you're a good player doesn't make you a good coach or vice versa. It's all the show, okay? And I'm going to expose it day in, day out. So by the end of this season, I'm pretty sure there'll be at least 100 people that will not want to watch football again after I'm going to show them that they're wasting their time and energy on it, all right? think Lampard and Asakol can coach? No. 
No, they all go into these coaching roles, don't they? Perlo got the Juventus job with no coaching experience. Like Xavi just makes it to the top. Solskjaer, who did nothing, and then he goes to Man United. Lampard, barely did anything. Goes to Chelsea, Everton, barely did anything. Barely did anything. Rooney just comes on and becomes a coach. All right? Who's going to end up in the Premier League? Terry's going to end up being a coach. Giggs, did he not coach Wales? It doesn't matter about the level of coaching. It's not about that. It's not about the ability of the players as well. It's whether the numbers sync up with that roster of players and coach and the country. That's how it works. That's why you get massive shocks because it's about the numbers, not the talent. It's why a top team can lose to the bottom team and can get beat 4-0. And then that team the following week can win 7-0 whilst the team that just won the top team 4-0 can get beat 5-0 by the team that's second from bottom in the league. Vieira is another one. Comes on the same coaching company. Just gets a job straight away at Burnley, a yo-yo club, just like Norwich. All right? The list goes on, guys. They're in this club together, and that's the reality. And it's about time people start accepting it. All right? These top footballers become coaches, and people just say it's because they were such good players. It, being good at something doesn't mean you can teach it. If you're a good driver, it doesn't make you a good driving instructor, does it? Just because you because you might be impatient. All right? There's a lot of things like that where you're good at something. It doesn't mean you're good at actually coaching it. They either become coaches, these top stars, or pundits. All right? They'll keep them in the public eye for you to worship. Do you think there's any pro league in the world that's not satanic? No. When it comes to pundits, they choose people with good English. I can barely understand Jamie Carragher. Uh, no, they pick people with big characters who had decent careers and then they connect them together like Gary Neville and Carragher who hated each other as players. Well, perfect script, hey? to have them work together on Monday Night Football. How perfect. Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher, the captain of Man United, the captain of Liverpool. All right, let's put them together. Retired pretty much the same time. So they can have that banter with each other so you can lap it up and go, oh, do you hear what Carragher said about Neville? And they'll have them doing like races. Who's faster? Who cares? They're both slow, both shocking, both shocking footballers. No, Gary Neville's the greatest right back of our generation. You are deluded. Simple. You don't watch football? I think Carragher was a great defender. Guy can barely turn. Last ditch all the time. Always last ditch. Good defenders don't need last ditch. Like Maldini said, if you ever have to slide, then you're not defending well enough. Your positioning is not good enough if you haven't to make a slide tackle. That's why they call it desperation tackle. So anyway... Do I think when the players fight, argue, it's staged? Two elements of it. It's either scripture, biblical, and it's the numbers, and it, they were going to fight no matter what happened, or it is staged. Or maybe then they throw in a variety of it. I don't know. But I know that people give too much attention to these leagues, to these sports, to these athletes, to these celebrities, and they should be giving that attention to themselves, to their family, to their loved ones, to their friends. So I'll keep exposing these ridiculous leagues. All right? Keep playing your Super 6 with Jeff Stelling. Six, eh? Another six. Keep playing your Super 6. Keep watching Sky Sports Soccer Saturday with the frauds. Keep watching it. Oh, Letizia is a good guy. He's actually calling things out. All right, then. All right, he's a good guy. He's Matt Letizia. Sure he is. Show he is. There could be voodoo on the pitch. All right? They do that in Africa. They openly say that they cast spells on players and they put all that, they do all that ritual inside the goal so a ball can't pass. That goes on in Africa. 
Pep Guardiola, you'll see him. Yeah, Pep Guardiola, you'll go out there and he's coaching. He's like this, this, and they're doing the triangles. But he wasn't the master of the triangles. The triangles connected to the Illuminati. That's why he coached for Bayern Munich, where the Illuminati were founded in Bavaria. All right? I tell you that people like Johan Cruyff and Guardiola are the geniuses behind Tiki Taka. It's not them, guys. It isn't. It isn't. All right, I'm off. I'm off. I'm starting to sweat. It's getting hot. Um, take care. Much love. And uh, we'll see what happens in this pathetic league tomorrow in the Premier League. Don't give too much energy to it. If you want to bet, good luck. Um, if I were you, I'd give away all your jerseys. And if you have children, I think you need to have this chat with them. But that's completely up to you. Take care. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Definitely not, not again today. Bye.